Hey everybody, welcome to the tech for all channel. In a series of videos, I plan to present to you a technology which is very tempting and very useful, especially for your households, the robotic vacuum cleaners. We're going to have a look at some more entry-level motors, as well as a few high-end devices. Typically, tech videos and tech reviews are about brand new, uh, unopened stuff, so unboxing, unpacking, and, and going through the main features is what they are about. But let's break this boring cycle. I present to you the iLife V7. This unit I have bought almost 20 months ago, and am regularly using ever since. And what happens to a robotic vacuum cleaner for such a long time of operation? Let me show you. Let's start with some facts. I run the vacuum cleaner between two and three times per week. Sometimes it makes two full cycles per day to clean the whole house, and I'm having it for 85 weeks until now, which approximately makes between 150 and 200 cycles. That means more than 400 hours of cleaning time. Just think about it. It's like someone wiping the floor at home for more than two weeks in a row. How happy am I? Very. Did I have to make any repairs? No, except a battery swap. The iLife V7 is a model from 2015, which is obvious by its design. The current trend is to have the dustbin detachable from the back of the vacuum. What I like most is the V-shaped brush. You can use the robot without it too, but the suction power would be miserable for that large surface. To be precise, for the suction power we have different values offered by different vendors. Commonly it is measured in kPa, which is kilopascal, and pascal is a measure of pressure that equals to pressure of 1 newton of force per square meter of area. The V7's suction power is about 0.6 kPa. A regular vacuum cleaner has the power of between 20 and 30 kPa. That is not a problem though. When a robot goes slowly, it can lift up and clean good enough. On top of that, the strong household vacuum cleaners produce a lot of air that is lifting some of the small microscopic pieces that a robot can usually collect. This is why many people get surprised when they see how much dust these little devices actually do collect. Being that happy with the V7 made me explore more about iLife. That is actually the same company which produces the tablets named Chewy. And apparently this is a very big company making all sorts of electronics. A bit of technical specs. We have a 2600 mAh lithium battery, which lasts about 200 cycles or close to 18 months. A fully charged battery would last between 90 and 140 minutes of operation. We have a single brush on the front left side. Newer models usually have two of them. The V brush is perfect for carpets and we have a dry mop. You can add some water and use it for wet cleaning of smaller places like bathrooms. No water tank though. This vacuum cleaner has a Bluetooth model. The application unfortunately contains too much of Chinese characters and it's hard to understand. There also is a remote control because I bought one of the very first units for sale, mine came with a Chinese, but all the current iLife models do include an English remote control. If you're based in Europe, Gearbest.com have most of the iLife models on stock in their European warehouse, which means no importation fees for you. Surprisingly, this robot's price range is still the same as when I bought it. It's about $150 and so far it is worth every single penny spent. Do you have or plan to have a robotic cleaner? Let me know, use the comment section below. And thank you for checking out this video.